Using an ovulation test to help pinpoint fertile times may not give you reliable results if you have PCOS. If you have PCOS, you may have a constant high level of luteinizing hormone or multiple luteinizing hormone surges. The results can falsely reflect whether or not you have ovulated. Urine ovulation tests may work for some women with PCOS, but not for all. There are several factors that can influence the accuracy of the test. If you are having regular monthly periods, there is a good chance that the ovulation kit will work properly. If you are not having regular periods, the kit may still work, but it may be difficult to know when to start testing or even what stage of the cycle you are in. If you are receiving persistently positive results, it most likely means that your luteinizing hormone levels are abnormally elevated. In such a case, the results can falsely reflect whether you have ovulated or not. You may still be able to use an ovulation kit if you adjust the timing of testing. Typically speaking, ovulation occurs 14 days before your next period. If you have a 28-day cycle, ovulation will occur around day 14. It is usually best to start testing several days before, say around day 11, to ensure that you catch your ovulation. See your healthcare provider if you have irregular monthly periods, are having trouble getting pregnant, or have excess acne or hair growth. If you're told you have PCOS, ask about getting tested for type 2 diabetes and how to manage the condition if you have it. Making healthy changes, such as losing weight if you're overweight and increasing physical activity, can lower your risk for type 2 diabetes, help you better manage diabetes, and prevent or delay other health problems. There are also medicines that can help you ovulate, as well as reduce acne and hair growth. Make sure to talk with your healthcare provider about all your treatment options.